wonderful book um, is um, Einstein's Mistakes, right? How he, and you hear his struggles, right? He wouldn't have been able to be cutting edge. He wouldn't have been able to be inventive if he didn't go through that. So when you're looking at the personality characteristics, the personality characteristics uh, lend themselves to doing that five-step process well. It's the mixture of the elements that matter, right? If you have a tremendous tenacity, but you're, you're studying, you're learning, you're trying to memorize and remember everything that you're being taught and you're really trying hard, you could have great tenacity. You need the making sense of some, something. You need to embrace reality. You need these other dimensions, right? So the, I think the things that uh, w we started to talk about just before, the, you know, the things that um, these people uh, have a need for is, is first they need to most fundamentally make sense of things, which is a very different kind of learning process. It's a very internalized learning process. It's not a memory-based process. So none of these people, unlike the population as a whole, none of these people have a desire to follow instructions. For most people, you, you, you go to school, they tell you what class to go to, um, they, uh, what classes to take. This goes all the way through university. They, they do this, do this, do this, and then you go into the class and they say, learn this, and this is the information, and it's largely a memory-based, instructional-based process. This is not what these people do, right? This is not, uh, so the path, what they, what they have in the, is a strong, strong desire to understand and make sense of reality. How does reality work, okay? And then, so they're all uh, very independent, thinking, um, and, and, and rebellious, okay? They don't mind, you know, saying, screw you, I am, this is what makes sense, and I've got to go down that path, right? They're comfortable with ambiguity. They love ambiguity. Some people don't like the ambiguity. Most people, they say, oh, I'm nervous about ambiguity. They love to go within the space of what's ambiguous, because that's where the discovery is, right? They love making mistakes, the process. They understand that making mistakes, you know, loosen up. It's like, you know, going to ski or something. You can't learn how to ski unless you're falling. So they don't mind the falling. They're not embarrassed about making mistakes. They're not worried also about the approval of others, right? So many people are constantly saying, oh, well, I'm, the, risk, the whole different definition of risk, what's risky? They're not worried about what people think of them, right? Is that risk uh, or, or failure? They, the, the term of failure is a totally different thing. The, the failure is a part of the learning process, right? What's the risk of failure? What, you'll be embarrassed or risk of failure? How do you distinguish failure from learning uh, in, in your whole life? You know, failure implies that it stopped, that the game stops, right? If it's part of a, you're failing and then you learn, then that learning is part of the moving forward, right? So that is what the process is like. Fail, learn, move forward, and constantly do that because you're cutting edge. You're going where people haven't been before in inventiveness. That's exciting to those people. So that's a different kind of approach to life, right? It's a different way of being.